back there. It, my word, this in-swinging Yorker, it really is a killer delivery. And what has that done to Botham's immediate test future? And nothing for the present, I can tell you. And England now in trouble, 2-1-3 for five. Straight as an arrow for the first two-thirds, and then the in-swing, and at the pace that's bowled at, makes it very difficult for a new batsman to keep out. New batsman here, Chris Lewis. Oh, that in-swinging Yorker again, he's got him. What a spell of bowling from Wacky Yunis, and he's got England in all sorts of trouble. Lewis, who never settled out LBW for two, 2-2-1 two, two, for six. Off the outside edge. They bowl him. Again, the full length. Oohs and ahs go up from the England supporters. Great cheers from Pakistan. And it's quite incredible that someone who has 30 runs to his name is suddenly beaten all ends up like that in the Philip de Freitas is the new batsman. Wasn't that a gorgeous delivery? The first real one on target this morning. Real in-swinging Yorker. What a gorgeous delivery. Watch it swing in, half bat, onto the toe. Oh, that is a beauty. Two slips in for Lewis. Bowled him. Having said that, that's the wicket that's another one for Wacky Yunis. Seven down now for England. Lewis wins. Looked a fairly loose shot, but uh, when Wacker gets them on target, they're at a pace and of a movement which are very difficult to combat. Well, it's this fast in-swinging Yorker that uh, has done the damage again. You see here, you can see the swing. There he is, sets off outside, comes swinging in through the gate, and uh, Chris Lewis will know that's out when he misses it before he hears it hit the stumps. England, certainly. Well, they're already one ahead, and they've got the lead. And again, the in-swinger, he's bearing this beautifully, getting no reward. The bowler can't believe it. It's the 200 up, those are the facts, but um, the belief from the bowler is that uh, that one wicket, there should be more than that. Well, I think uh, the reason for the Giovinitis is uh, the umpire has given it as a run, so probably he nicked it. Well, only the uh, inside edge that Mervyn Kitchen saw or heard saved him then, because otherwise Smith was gone. So 200 for one, and uh, psychologically that means a lot to both sides. That is out. He's got a full toss through. Stewart nailed. It really was, it was more than the Yorker, and uh, Wacker puts his hands together almost in supplication. He's proved what he thinks is a point, but uh, really that was a much different length ball compared with anything that uh, he's bowled in the match. Yes, he'll be delighted to get his Surrey captain out. Did more or less full toss on the knee. It did go in, and there was a chance of it sliding down the leg side, but... Uh, Murph Kitchen ruled on the bowler's favour on that occasion. Oh, well bowled. What a wonderful Yorker. 303 for six. I don't say you could see that coming, but... Um you knew it was just over the brow of the hill. A wonderful piece of bowling from Wakayus. That was magnificent. I mean, everything was perfect there. He, I mean, there's nothing that uh, Graham Hick could have done because the previous two balls, Waka, the first one was short, the second one beat him almost in the length. 
and the third one beat him all ends up. There was a magnificent swinging delivery. The new batsman is uh, Chris Lewis. Big shout, and that's out. Another wicket falls, and uh, England are really in trouble now. Beautiful late in swing. Waka Yunus keeping the ball well up to the bat. Amazing, really, that Pakistan could labour so long without luck, and suddenly it's all gone their way. And you must say, the bowlers have deserved their luck. There's the in swinger. Now we wondered when Wacky Eunice would get this one going. A wry smile there from umpire David Shepherd. Uh, probably just missing leg stump. It went a long way at the death of that. And uh, that reminiscent of the first innings, 71 overs been bowled with the spall. Oh, well bowled. The great Yorker. Wonderful delivery to end this England innings. 174 all out with Robin Smith, 84. A great Yorker. And that was a perfect delivery. You couldn't have asked for a better delivery from any bowler for any batsman, in, in particular if it happens to be a number 11. Vakayanus, who picked up another five wickets in this innings, he took the top four, and then here he is, five for 52, a magnificent performance, and Robin Smith, what a magnificent knock that was, single-handed out of a score of 174, 84 not out, that was really remarkable, and it deserves all the accolade that he's receiving. Massive controversy. Beautifully bowled. Great Yorker, but uh, Tufnell is in considerable amount of pain there. That was a very, very swift delivery. Well, it was swift and it was swinging in right onto his toe. And it didn't get him out, but it's to be hoped it didn't do any real lasting damage. I've seen people break a toe that way, a full toss straight onto it. Well, I think the Yorker, the ball before, had the desired effect. Philip Tufnell making sure he gets those feet right out of the way. You'll see him shifting away here. He's not going to get hit a second time on the toe. Oh, it's bold! What a superb delivery. The middle stump uprooted. A big in-swinging Yorker. Beats the bat of Rod Latham and New Zealand in further trouble. Well, what a magnificent delivery again from Waka Yunus. Look at that. Magnificent late in swinger. And the off, sorry, the middle peg is uh, uprooted. And they're delighted. And so they should be. Now the game is really uh, in the balance. Yeah, this is nerve wracking stuff. Rod Latham on his way, 71 for six. Waka Yunus, what a deadly delivery that one was. It was his 99th wicket as well in Test cricket. Well, he's the replay and Rod Latham is beaten for swing and pace. And John, what a difference it is when the ball is moving in the air. I mean, how much more difficult it is at this sort of pace for oh, these men to play. That was a cracker. It just was so quick. Certainly Rod Latham played it from the crease, as we see there. Uh, and I obviously feel the way to play would have been to get onto the front foot, but that's a very difficult situation when uh, you've got so much of Walker's pace coming down at you, and, and we're only looking in, in the right techniques for saying that. But um... our, our uh, Bank of New Zealand stump vision, I don't think, is in great nick at the moment either, Jeff. He copped it full on there. Goodness me, he's lucky. 
Oh, he's bowled him with the full toss. Well, I can't believe it. The in-swinging full toss, it's a deadly delivery. You don't expect to get the ball up around about waist height. You're looking for it elsewhere. And Greg Blewett will wonder where the heck that delivery went. Now that's what it was. It started a foot outside off stump and it hit leg. It was a reverse swing, the reverse swing we've been talking about that uh, Wazim Akram used earlier this morning and now Wakar Yunus has with such deadly effect. And that swung, well, if you allow 10 inches a foot, uh, that's gone, oh, 25 centimetres. And it's accounted for Greg Blewett. Seven for one, seven, zero. Well, Craig McDermott is the new batsman. All rifle has some hamstring problems. They've decided to go with the, the big fella. Probably have him looking for playing some shots. The reason he's there is that Greg blew it. Defeated by the in-swinging full Ooh. toss, not the in-swinging Yorker, which Wacker is so well-renowned, for which he's well-renowned. Maybe, Greg Blewett maybe just lost that one. Wasn't expecting it to be quite so full. The swing has deceived him. And the quick bowlers have given Craig McDermott some problems in his time too. That ball that uh, dismissed Blewett swung a long, long way. If you uh, watch the trajectory straight down the pitch, you see it started about a foot outside off stump. And it's hit leg. Just there to there. That is a big swinging ball. And uh, very well bowled. Did the job, seven for 170. Well, these fellows, Wasim and Wacker, have hit the stumps a lot of times in their career. 77 still required, three wickets in hand. And there is another one, and that might be it. And that's the second time in the match McDermott has been out second ball for a duck. Bowled on both occasions, never in any real danger of being out LBW. Certainly wasn't. Pads are well outside the line of the stumps. That's not very well played, but it's uh, very well bowled. Wacker Yunus knew uh, precisely what he had to do, and it's eight for 170. And I don't think Paul Rifle will be fit. There it is, it's all over. He's done it again, finished off the tail as he has done so often during his career. And what a happy was him at Graham, and so he should be. It's been a marvellous performance by him and his team to come back from the depths of two big losses in Brisbane and Hobart. The fight back here under pressure. They took the positive step, winning the toss and electing to bat first. They were able to put the Australians under pressure. Took a 42-run lead into this second innings they looked like they mightn't have scored quite enough runs but they came out in such a positive fashion and they've been able to polish off the Australians for 172 in the second innings